Hi, and welcome to my review of Fans Project Retro Future Tail Club, one of the four Limbots to go with Tusker to form the mighty Glacial Lord. Right, let's have a look at this guy and the box. You see it's a nice box and it's got some faux damage, some uh, faux watermarks and damage marks here at the top. You got a picture of him as a Dodicarus, which is a Ice Age relative of the Armadillo, I believe, according to Wiki. And there you go, you got a picture of him forming the limb of the mighty Glacial Lord on the back. Right, so let's pop open the box and have a look and see what's inside. Right, there we go. There you go, you have a robotic Dodicarus in the... Sorry, it's really fun to say, so you might hear that a few more times. Um, it comes in a really, really nice styrofoam packet. I've been looking forward to having this guy for a while. Right, let's have a look. Here we have Tail Club himself. Let's get him out of there and have a look. Right, here we go, his Tail Club. You can see he's got some nice detail on him. He's got a nice face sculpt. Um, as for posability, he has moving legs. He also has joints up here for the thigh and he has knee joints and his arms can go all the way around, which is uh, you know, just what you need, it's very handy. Let's put him to one side. Let's get that out, like this, so you can see it. Get that out too. Right, comes with this tail club, which if you look in here, you can see just uh, sort of here there's a groove and another one. And this plugs straight in there to hold it in place. Right, and here we have the Dodicarus. Um, the little guy tail club, as I showed you earlier, he can sit in a specially cut out slot and sit on top of the Dodicarus, which I really enjoy looking at. Um, and you can also, you know, have some fun poses. You can stand there, you know, patting the Dodicarus on the head, or the Dodicarus could be sniffing his armpit or something, I don't know. As for the transformation, First, we'll transform him to uh, robot mode, which is sort of like a headmaster slash chest master or breast master, whatever they were called. First of all, you take off the tail, then you take off the shield from the top. Then you have this. If you unpeg the leg from there, fold it down, and do the same on the other side. Now these legs can be separate, but if you're a fan of Scramble City or just for old time's sake, you can push them together to form a mono leg. I'm not sure if you uh, would like that or not, but it is an option. Um, you fold down the arms. Sorry, let's try. There we go. You have an arm like that. Do the same again, take the orange part. Fold it down, and you have his arms. Um, you can take the head off like this, but you can leave it on and have it folded down at the back. But where would the fun in that be? Oh, I can't take it, there we go. And then this bit just folds down, so it sits across the back. If we put him down there. Now if you take the head, there's a peg you can pull out that goes inside. When you look at the nose, there's like a tiny bit you can get in and pull it up like that. You get the tail club, and you notice there's a hole for a peg there and the peg there. If you combine them, you make what looks like a very, very large club. If you twist this round so the spikes are facing forwards, 
Right. Let me take this little guy. This bit was quite painful the first couple of times I did it because I he didn't feel very... I didn't like the noise. And there you go, look, he folds up like this and goes into what I guess could be a kind of like exosuit for him. If you see here, uh, it's a bit stiff. There you go, he sits in there like that. And he could take his club, take it into his arm. And there we have tail club. Bar into a bit of a tilt. Tail club in robot mode with a giant club. Also, you can take his shield, which just pegs into a hole on his shoulder there. Like that. Or, if you prefer, you can turn his arm up like this and see this. There's a square there. Then that just pegs in so he can have his shield facing forward as well. Um, he came with stickers, half of which were already applied, and I've applied the rest. But um, Most of them, it shows you where they go. I think it was just this one and this one, which both go on the shield. Uh, one of these is one of the feet, and the others... You, I mean, if you look, you can see where there's one one side and one not the other side. <clears throat> he comes with a really nice old school looking instruction booklet which is uh <laughs> I say of when I was a lot younger and also tail club the robot can stay in there in all of his forms uh, combined form the decorous form and like he is now so every part of him can be attached so you don't lose anything Right, let's uh, transform him into limb mode. Let's take his giant club off. Get his head back. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. Let's put him back where you can see him. Right, for head mode, if you fold the peg back down, and you see there's um, like a slot here. Just stop the head in. Like that. Right, for limb mode, he pretty much stays as he is, but if you push down and the decorous head falls off, you push down so he's more squat in appearance. Fold the um, arms back up. inside so you've got the dodicorous ones. I like to have them down, I mean you can have them anywhere but that's the way I like to do it. Then we will plug this back in again because it made it fall out last time. And then you have a clicky mechanism in here. So if you grip him, you notice he starts to turn. You see there's a gap here where his head will go, and round the back there's this peg, so you can have him like this in arm mode, if you like. There we go, do that. Then you fold... I'll keep that in today, can I? A bit of technical difficulty here. That's it, and you have it up like that. That forms his kind of knee guard, and you can see I think that's got the connector, which does fit with all existing Scramble City combiners as well. I have yet to try it to see how it works, but we'll see that later on. And then we plug the shield in, and there you go. You have Tail Club as a leg. Um, one of the things that I did notice is if you have him... as an arm. Gonna have real problems with this today, aren't I? Right. There we go. If you have him as an arm and have it however you want, he does actually have an elbow joint. Doesn't move very much. 
but obviously I don't have a fist yet because they come with Tusker. But just the fact that he has some small elbow joint is really good. Anyway, that's it on Tail Club. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as at some point I'll be doing another five videos. The other three limbs, the main body which is Tusker and then the final combined mode of all of them together.